students a hearty welcome to another session of biology class today we are going to begin a new module of the second chapter windows of knowledge windows of knowledge in this chapter we are going to discuss the fascinating and very interesting details of all our major sense organs and the receptors in some lower organs so shall we begin our lesson in this chapter we are going to discuss about the sense organs in human beings the structure in detail the physiology or the working of various sense organs disorders and diseases related to sense organ care and maintenance and finally receptors in lower organisms so these are the points that we are going to discuss in detail in this chapter which are the major sense organs in our body the eyes which helps us in vision the to see mesmerizing things around us second one the ears which help us to hear the various things which is going around you third one the nose which help to detect the pleasant and unpleasant smell in your surroundings next one is the tongue which help to detect or to identify variety of taste and finally the skin which is the largest sense organ helps to identify various sensations like touch pressure hot cold etc so these are the major five sense organs in our body so let's start the first part of the chapter the human eye so let's move to the first part of the chapter that is human eye the major sense organ that helps the brain to evoke sensation the human eye is an organ that reacts to light and allow us vision so it's a sense organ related to light so photosensitive receptors are present inside the human eye so a organ sense organs related to the light and helps in vision let's check out the structure of human eye so under this topic we are going to discuss about the following points so human eye structure at a glance first we will see the location then we discuss about the protective structures then different layers in the eyeball what are photoreceptors then various fluids in our eye peculiarity of our lens and finally optic nerve so location protective structures eyeball layers photoreceptors fluids lens and optic nerve these are the major points that we are going to discuss about under the heading structure of eye first of all, first of all location so when you study an organ we must know where it is located so each eye is located in a cavity called orbit or eye socket so the location is orbit or eye socket and the peculiarity of our eye is it is spherical in shape spherical means ball like shape similar to the ice cream ball all of you are familiar with ice cream balls so once you finish the delicious ice cream you can see 
inside the ball it is hollow in nature hollow means empty so hollow spherical organ and it is filled with a fluid like structure and it is play, well placed inside a cavity called orbit or eye socket and where it is situated inside the skull so here you can see the skull has two large depression depression means cavity a space in which the eyes are well placed and protected so skull is the location where we can see two depression that is the eye socket or simply the orbit now let's see the protective structures some more details we have to focus on the various protective structures since eye is a very delicate and the most important organ among the sense organs so many protective structures are there for eye they are eye socket external eye muscles eyebrows eye lashes eye lids conjunctiva and tears i repeat the protective structures of our eye are eye socket external eye muscle eyebrows eye lashes eye lids conjunctiva and tears now let's see each one eye socket as i mentioned earlier it is also known as orbit it is the depression in the skull depression means a small cavity not very too much deep in nature a small pit like structure that is known as depression and the major function is to hold and protect the eye here you can see that certain muscles are there in order to fix the eyes inside the eye socket or the orbit with the help of these muscles they are well fixed inside our orbit so eye socket or orbit they are the depression in the skull function hold and protects the eye next one is eye muscle external eye muscles in the picture you can see certain muscles attached to the eye which hold the eye in position that means fix the eyeball in position and they also helps in movement so six muscles in each eye the major function is to fix the eyeball in orbit and helps in the movement of eyeball so with the help of these muscles we can do lot of communication with the help of eye so various eye movement is possible with the help of these muscles next is eyebrow eyebrows are small hairs just above our eye they are small hairs or short hairs seen just above the eyes an area of thick short hairs above the eyes the major functions are prevent the sweat water and other debris from falling down into this eye socket or orbit debris means the waste particles it may be dust particle or small microorganisms body uh small foreign bodies anyone the debris means the waste particles so the debris from falling down into the eye socket it also helps in communications and various facial expression next one is eye lashes eye lashes are hair seen on the ridges of our eyelid or somewhat curved hairs seen at the ridge of our eyelids both on upper as well as lower eyelids so let's see the hairs that grow on the edges of the eyelids are called eyelid eyelashes the hairs that grow on the edges of the eyelids the major function is to prevent the entry of foreign particles into the eyes next one is eyelid we have two eyelids one upper and one lower they are acting as a shutter or protective structure which help to close and open our eyes so let's move to the points act as shutters protecting 
protecting the eyes from injury and excessive light helps in spreading the tear film over the cornea and conjunctiva so when the tear comes out through the tear gland and canals you need a even spreading so that spreading is done with the help of this eyelids when we blink our eyes when it is filled with tears it causes even spreading of the tear so that the dirt and the waste materials can drain away from our inner part of the eye so helps in spreading the tear film over the cornea and conjunctiva and it also helps in drainage of tears drainage means eliminating the tears which is already clogged inside our eyes so acting as a shutter protecting the eyes from injury and excessive light helps in spreading the tear film over the cornea and conjunctiva helps in drainage of tears now let's see what is conjunctiva see please study the spelling carefully conjunctiva conjunctiva please study the spelling properly conjunctiva is actually a membrane present on the surface of the eye this white color part is the uh, covered by a film called conjunctiva and also you can see a reddish color film running around the lower edge of the eyelid that is also conjunctiva so i hope the position is clear for you here it is marked very clearly you can see the white colored portion as well as the uh, portion which is very close attached with the eyelids lower eyelids that is the conjunctiva now let's see the features conjunctiva is a thin semi transparent mucous membrane that covers the inner surface of eyelid and the white part of the eyeball so see the peculiarity it is very thin in nature and semi transparent it is a type of mucous membrane always produce a secretion of mucus in order to protect our eye from being dry and it where it is present on the inner surface of the eyelid as well as the white part of our eyeball the major function is to secrete mucus which protects the anterior portion of the ball ball means eyeball from being dry so dryness is prevented when it become dry so many microbes can get inside and cause attack so we feel the itching irritation on this uh, situation so conjunctiva prevent the infection the season so secrete mucus which protects the anterior portion of eyeball from being dry so here also you can see the two pictures first one showing the front view of the conjunctiva here you can also see the white colored portion as well as that is known as a special name is there you need not to concentrate or focus on the special name so just here to understand i have depicted this picture to you uh, the white color portion as well as the lower eyelid attachment is there a skin like attachment that is the part of conjunctiva in the side view of this figure you can also see this is the conjunctiva and in the lower portion here you can see the part of conjunctiva so this picture focuses the side view and this is the front view which shows the conjunctiva very clearly now let's see the next part that is the tear tear is a secretion fluid secretion it comes out in variety of situation when we get over excited also the tears will come when we get emotionally very sad also the tears will come in addition to emotion the tears will also flow when we chop the onions isn't it how the special acid present in the onions which is in a gaseous form or in a vapor form when they come in contact with the eye the eye produces a defense mechanism in the form of tear so tears comes under the protective part of our eye 
they are produced by the tear gland a special structure is there sac like structure that is known as gland a small chamber that produces the tear that is known as tear gland a sac like tears produced by tear gland a small chamber that secrete the tear the major functions are clean and lubricate the anterior part of the eyeball so lubricate means when we bling our eyes when you move your eyeball there should be some lubrication otherwise it may cause wear and tear which causes damage to our cells so clean and lubricate the anterior part of the eyeball and the most important thing is that contain an enzyme called lysozyme very very important please focus on the spelling too lysozyme an enzyme present in tears destroy the germs that enters the eyes so eyes produce the tears from where the tear gland which contain an enzyme enzyme means chemical substance produced by a living cell in chemistry you might have heard about catalyst in order to regulate the speed of reaction catalyst here also in living things the chemical substance which enhance the metabolism or to inhibit metabolism living beings produce enzyme so one such enzyme is lysozyme where it is present inside the tears so tear gland is the organ which produce the tear here you can see it has got certain connections you can see small uh, small red lines here that is the connections of the tear gland to the eyelids and it has also got connection with the lower eyelid and one part is connected to our nose also that's why when you cry the tears will come along in through the nose also so tear gland has got connection with our eyes as well as on the nose so in this module we have so far discussed about the location of the eye the various protective structures of our eye which are the various protective structures yes the orbit or the skull the eyebrows eye lashes eye lids then conjunctiva tears eye muscles these are the various protective structures of our eye since eye is one of the most delicate organ in our body there are so many a plethora of protective structures are given to the eye for its well care and maintenance okay i hope you have understood all the points let me conclude here thank you